Look here, my man. You're up to something. I, I only ask you to try him, sir. Be careful. This thing's loaded. Who are you? Well, I might ask the same of you, sir. Prowling around the moor, spying out on everybody. That's my business, to spy. Oh, what is, is it? Yes, and if you want to know who I am, I'll tell you. Who are ye? I'm Sherlock Holmes. Sherlock Holmes, the detective? Yes, and now perhaps you realize why I can't be hoodwinked. Oh, sir, 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 that changes everything. Now, who are you? Quick! Well, in that case, sir, my name must be Watson. <laughs> Holmes! How are you, my dear fellow? A fine detective you are, calling yourself Sherlock Holmes. So you've been down here on the moor all the time? That's a fine way to treat me, I must say. <laughs> Send me down here. Let me think that you were in London, working on that black man case. Let me sit up half the night, writing those blasted reports. Serious reports, my dear Watson, and very valuable they were, too. I made arrangements to have them forwarded on to me. A shabby trick, which I'll not forget. Ah, but a very necessary trick. If I'd come down here with you and Sir Henry, every movement of mine would have been watched. While in this way, only you and Sir Henry have been watched, and I've been free to work. That's all very well. But making a fool of me... Sit down, Watson. Do sit down. Perhaps a little supper will help you to get over your huff. Huff? I'm in no huff. Here, try some of these sardines. It's a pity I didn't know you were coming. I'd have provided a brace of pheasants. It's a pity you didn't think of bringing down that infernal violin of yours to regale me with some of your enchanting music. I did, my dear Watson. Anything to oblige. Well, if you've had enough to eat, Watson, and you're feeling in better spirits, I think we'd better be getting along. Getting along where, if I'm not prying? I'm returning with you to Baskerville Hall. There are still some gaps to be filled in, but all in all, things are becoming a little clearer. Not to me, I assure you. Still a hopeless jumble. Mr. Franklin, Dr. Mortimer, the Barrowmans, put it all together and what have you got? Murder, my dear Watson. Refined, cold-blooded murder. Murder? There's no doubt about it in my mind. Or perhaps I should say in my imagination. But that's where crimes are conceived and where they're solved. In the imagination. But there's been no murder. Unless you mean Sir Charles. And the facts clearly indicated that he died from heart failure. That's why so many murders remain unsolved, Watson. People will stick to facts, even though they prove nothing. Now, if we go beyond facts, use our imagination as the criminal does. Imagine what might have happened and act upon it, as I've been trying to do in this case. We usually find ourselves justified. Then you know? Another day, two at the most, and I will know. My one fear is that the murderer will strike before we're ready. In that case... What's that? Where's it coming from? There. No, no, no. There. The hound. Come on, Watson, quick. Sir Henry! 